white. Hello again. So today I am going to be reviewing a lighting kit and this lighting kit is the newer two packs dimmable by color 480 LED video light and stand lighting lighting kit includes 3200 to 5600 K CRI 96 plus LED panel with U bracket 75 inches light stand for YouTube studio photography video shooting. <laughs> All right, so this is how it's gonna go. I'm gonna be showing you what comes in the kit, but I'm also going to be showing you how these lights perform. So I am going to get started. The kit includes two dimmable by color LED lights, two AC adapters, two aluminum alloy light stands, and two carrying cases. The light stands extend up to 74 0.80 inches tall or 190 centimeters. They are completely adjustable so you can make them shorter or you can make them taller. I will be leaving a link in the description box uh, to take you to the Amazon website where it has a lot more information, a lot more technical information if that's what you're looking for. I want to now show you what the light looks like. So right now in my room I have the light from the ceiling that's shining down on me. And then I also have these two lights, the, the ones that I am reviewing right now. I have them on the max level of white light. So right now I am showing you what this room looks like without the lights being turned on, without any lights being turned on. So I am gonna now turn on the light from the room. So that's the light from the room. As you can see, it's like an overhead light. So it is horrible for a video. Now I'm going to turn off that light and turn on just the ones from the just the ones from the lighting kit. Okay. So as you can see, they're really nice. They give like a nice tone, but since I don't have the overhead light on, which is the one from the room, then the background is a little bit darker. But I me, I look fine. So I have these about three feet away from me. That's how far they are because I'm in front of a desk and the desk is three feet wide. So yeah, they're three feet away. Since I'm only reviewing the lighting kit, I'm gonna keep the light from the room off. So right now I have the two lights on from the lighting kit and they are on max white. I am now going to turn on the yellow as well to the max. All right, so this is with the white to the max and yellow to the max. To me, this feels like I am at a place where the sun is rising and the sun is just like illuminating my skin. <laughs> so up to now, I have been showing you these lights with their filter on. So now I am going to leave them, leave them at max for white and yellow and just take the filters off just so you can see what that looks like. All right, so those are bright. <laughs> okay, so that's what it looks like right now. It is difficult to um, even like have my eyes open because they are so bright. And since they don't have this filter on, then it's like, it's like straight on. Uh, but as you can see, it kind of like washes me out a little bit more, kind of like everything looks like, like more flat because the lights are so strong, but it's kind of hard not to like look that way. And yeah, they're strong. They're very strong. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back on because I feel like that is way too strong. I'm gonna put them both around halfway strength, so about 50% strength. This is both of them at 50% white and 50% yellow. 
as you can see that kind of like creates a little bit more detail um at least on me like on my face it creates a little bit more detail instead of just like making it completely like flat now i'm going to do another configuration okay so now i have it at 50 percent white i completely took off the yellow so there's zero percent yellow and i have it at 50 percent white light as you can see it does light me up but it's not harsh and it's not too dark now i'm gonna go ahead and do another configuration all right <laughs> so this right here is at 50 percent yellow zero white i didn't turn on the white at all it's just 50 percent yellow and i feel like every time i turn on the yellow it feels like i'm in the sun like in a sunset in a sunrise like that type of that type of outdoor setting so i am now going to go ahead and dial it all the way up to the max yellow without any white and as you can tell it's like it's like a beautiful warm tone the white is obviously more cool toned and then the yellow is warm tone so it adds warmth to the face it doesn't look like very bright but it just adds a nice warmth to the face and just to me right let me show you what they look like a little bit further away right now i have them at around three feet away from me so i am gonna go to about five feet so you can see what they look like i now have them about five feet away from me and as you can see like it's not as bright anymore you start seeing the shadows under my eyes you start seeing a little bit of a shadow over here because the light is so far away so it's creating certain shadows i am going to go ahead and put them around six feet away from me so this is about six feet away from me now and as you can see like this side especially it's a lot more darker like this side is also a little bit dark it's showing like a little bit dark like right here so just like the front of my face like this area right here is a little bit more illuminated but the rest is kind of a little bit darker all right so this is with the ring light and my ring light right now is at 100 percent, and this is basically what it looks like and as as good as it's gonna get with the ring light okay so this is having three lights on and this is a lot of light so I like that the back is a little more illuminated but I am the one that's like in the center of it all so let me dial it down I had totally forgotten to put my mic on <laughs> but I'm not gonna start the video all over again so um, right now I have on um, my ring light in the center and then I have the other two lights in front of me but they're more like on the sides so that you can see what they look like and they're all tuned to the white light there's no yellow light whatsoever right now okay so final thoughts i like these lights because they are um they're small they're on the small side they're kind of like this so they are very portable but they do have a lot of light now, I wish they were just a tiny little bit brighter, like I could make them a little bit brighter and they would be perfect. So for me, for my purposes, they're not perfect, but I can use them as accents. As far as portability, they are completely portable. They do have a carrying case. So they bring two carrying cases, one, one for each light. And in there, you can also put the AC adapters. What will not fit in the bag are the stands. So the stands, you're, they do get smaller. They get about like this length when you fold them up, but they do not fit in the box. Um, they do not fit in the bags. So it would be like all the way over here. If they were, that's how big the, from here to like here, that's how long the stands are when they are at their smallest size. If you want to have them completely portable where you don't have to insert them into a power outlet to turn them on, you could also buy the battery. Amazon does tell you what battery they recommend. The two that rec they recommend are the Sony NP-F550 and the NP-F970 Li Ion battery. So they do recommend that. Uh, it does have 
it does have like two spaces in the back so i think that you're supposed to put two batteries in each light because they do recommend those two so i think it's like a i don't know if they come in a combo deal or if you have to buy them separate and in that case it will be four batteries that you need but they do have the ac adapter if you are near electricity then that's the way to go <laughs> As far as the length of the cable, I do not have the length right here, but if you use the set at the highest position, then that battery area or whatever it's called from the adapter is gonna be hanging and it's gonna create stress on the back of the light, uh, of the little, the little thing that inserts into the back. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. <laughs> so that can be a problem because it's gonna mess it up a lot faster, I think. So you could always buy another AC adapter that is longer. And I will link one down in the description box because I actually did buy adapters and it's these right here. I don't know what they're called, uh, but since I, I didn't open the bag because I think I'm gonna return them because I don't need them to be that tall. So I'm fine, you know, so they could just rest on the floor. <laughs> All right um what else yeah so yeah my my final thoughts i think that this is a really nice pair of lights it depends what you need them for if they are closer to you um like as for me they're like three feet so i think that three feet and less than three feet is fine but when you start going a little bit further i do think that they start not working as well even at their highest setting they don't work as well so if your purpose is to illuminate a whole room or create illumination for a wider area, I don't think these are the ones for you. But if you need to illuminate some, if you need to illuminate an object or a person that is close by, then they might be perfect for you. They are lightweight, but they're sturdy at the same time. And so yeah, I think that they are a great buy. So they're price varies throughout the year i feel when i first put them in my cart they were around 190 dollars then for prime day they discounted them and i didn't buy them because i didn't have the money then they went up in price again but then they went down again so i bought them at 150 and now they're again around 190 <laughs> so it they fluctuate in price um so yeah, get them whenever you need them, whenever you have the money, or if they're at a lower price, then go for them because they do keep going up and down. That's $150 though, it's the lowest I've seen them. I've never seen them lower than that. I hope that I covered everything and that this video was informative. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay safe out there. Bye! <laughs>